All right, so we have our users object pretty much created. Um, we can add users from the back end. Um, what we want to do is we want to be able to log in with users that are admins. Okay, so uh, I just want to look at the database real quick. Okay, if we go to PHP my admin and log in. Okay, and we want to go to users. And you can see that we have two users here with hashed passwords. And they're both in the group with the ID of two, which is admin. If we go and look at the groups, you can see that admin has the ID of two. So these, these guys should be able to log in. Um, but what we need to do first is create a controller in the admin folder called authenticate.php. Well, need to make sure you extend it. All right. So we're going to start with the login method. Um, actually, we're only going to have two methods in this class, login and log out. Login, I want to load the login uh, layout when someone goes to that URL. So um, let's first just load the view. So we're just going to say this load view. And the view is going to be in the admin right, folder. So in this section, we're going to talk layouts slash login. So if we go to admin slash login, okay, we um, actually it needs to be authenticate login because we need the controller name. But we can create routes to make this URL shorter we want. Um, all right, so we didn't create the actual function yet. So let's say public function. It's been a long day. Login. All right, so that's working. We just need to create our login layout. So let's go back, let's go to the views folder, and then admin layouts, and then we want to create a new file called login.php. So let's go to the HTML template we created and open login HTML. And I'm going to just copy all that and then come and paste that in login.php. And we need to change these links to the style sheet. We need to use base URL. And then the assets folder and then slash CSS slash bootstrap. Okay, I want to copy this. Put that here as well. And let's make sure we have the sign in CSS file. Assets, CSS, which we don't. So let's bring that over. Okay. Now, instead of using this HTML form, I want to use the form helper um, that Code Igniter comes with. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to paste in section by section. So here we have a variable called attributes, which has an array of attributes that I want to add to the form. In this case, I want to add a class attribute with the value of form sign in. And then we're going to open the form with form open. And it's going to go to our authenticate controller login function. And we're just going to pass in the attributes to it. All right. And then to close a form, 
we can say echo form close all right and then in between I want to have a heading okay so an h2 with the name of the the CMS we want a placeholder for validations so we're using the validation errors function we want a placeholder for our errors uh, for instance the failed login error let me just fix this and then we have the access denied error and the logged out message okay logged out should actually be alert success and these are just bootstrap classes to make it look pretty all right so next we need our fields okay so now I want to paste this in so we have two fields we have a username all right so we can get the input with form input data we're passing in this ar this array with different attributes name username class and placeholder and then we have our password which we can echo out with form password with our uh, attributes and then finally we have our button form button with uh, the, the button has a class the content is just the, t the text of the button placeholder and then the type which is going to be submit okay so that's our login page and that should now be connected which it is not okay it should be loading it let me just try something here huh and it looks like we have a uh, syntax error we have base UTL this should be URL okay still have something wrong oh this one too there we go so there's our login so now we need to handle it with the uh, login method in the authenticate controller so let's first do our form validation okay so I'll do that right here so basically we're setting rules for username and password which are the only two fields we have and then we're going to check and see if the form was submitted and passed alright so if it wasn't submitted we're just going to load this view and let's see if it was submitted and passed we want to first get the values okay so we're going to get the username and password and put them in this in these variables now we're going to use a model met function to um, authenticate. Okay, so we're going to create a variable called user ID and set it equal to authenticate model login user, which will get passed in a username and password. Okay, so if the login is correct, if it works, then we'll have a value for this. Okay, so then we're going to say if user ID, so if it went through then we're going to create a new array called user data and it's going to have a user ID which is going to be equal to whatever the user's ID is username will be equal to the username and then we're going to have this logged in value of true so this is what we can check we can use to check to see if we're logged in if this is true then the user is logged in um, and then here we're just going to set it we're going to use the session helper uh, and then use the set data function um, to actually set it and then after that we just want to be redirected okay we're going to set a message that we're logged in and we're going to redirect to the dashboard okay so now we want to create this login user method in the authenticate model so let's go into models authenticate model and 
the only function we're going to have is this login user, which takes a username and password. It's going to encrypt the password to MD5 because that's what it is in the database. And then we're just going to validate. We're going to find out where the username equals username and the password is the password the user enters. All right, and then the results. If the results come back with uh, one row, then we're going to return the row. If not, we're going to return false. Okay, and the user won't get logged in. So save that. And hopefully that does it. So let's make sure everything's saved. And let's reload. Unexpected end of file. Controllers authenticate on line 31. Uh, that, what's this? Else. Looks like we're missing a curly brace. Um, that should go with that. Yeah, we're just missing a curly brace. Um, put this right here. And that should fix it, I believe. All right. So if we do nothing, we get these errors. Okay, username must be at least four. Um, so let's log in correctly. Uh, let me just check out the uh, usernames. So it looks like I have Brad. I think I know the password. All right, so we logged in. Now what we want to do is we, we want to make it so that if we're not logged in and we try to go come to the dashboard or any page really that it boots us and sends us to the login screen. So let me log back out. Actually I'm going to copy this URL, log out. Uh, oh crap, we haven't created the log out function. So let's actually do that. Okay, so inside of the authenticate class controller we're going to log out and all this is going to do is use the session helper to unset all of our user data so um, logged in will not be true anymore and we're, then at the end of this we're going to just destroy the entire session and then just redirect okay so let's save that okay reload log out um, Actually, let me see what that link, that logout link is actually going to. Admin users, see it shouldn't be going to users, it should go to authenticate. So we need to change that in the layout. I think it's views, admin, layouts, includes, header. And then logout is right here. We're going to change this to authenticate. Logout. Okay, log out. And it's redirecting us to admin login. So that's wrong. If we go to right here, we want to redirect to admin. Actually, you know what? We do want to go to admin login, but we want to add that as a route so that this actually redirects us to authenticate login. Because using admin authenticate login is just too long. So let's go to our config config folder and then go to routes. And I'm just going to paste in some routes here. So when we type in admin, it will take us to admin dashboard. Admin login will go to admin authenticate login. Admin logout will go to admin authenticate logout. So let's save that. Okay, so now if we log out it takes us to the login but whoop, we don't want to be able to go to dashboard if we're not logged in so in the next video I'm going to implement implement access control so that it'll boot us out if we're not logged in